doing my July favorites and I have a little something from every category. I have hair, makeup, skincare, um, reading, fashion, so yeah, I'm just going to get right into it and get started. The first thing I wanted to show is my Freeman Facial Clay Mask in Mint and Lemon. And I picked this one up at Ulta. They also have a few other scents. They have a pineapple one, chocolate strawberry, and that's all I can remember. But yeah, like I said, this is Mint and Lemon, and I love this so much. I've been using it about once a week, and it's so refreshing. It smells so good, and that's just what it looks like. And my friend actually got the exact same one, and we both agreed that we noticed after we used this and rinsed it off and everything that our pores look so clean, like up close. I couldn't see any clogged pores anymore in the mirror. They just looked um, a lot smaller and just very, very clean. So I don't know. I just feel like this has been really helping my skin, and I would definitely recommend it. And it's just nice to have a little spa moment once a week. <laughs> Um, also the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Shampoo. I've been using this one. Usually I don't get too excited about shampoos just because um, I don't really notice a huge difference from brand to brand. But one thing I will say is that I have very fine hair that gets very tangled in the shower. So a lot of times it's very difficult to work a shampoo through my hair. I know that sounds crazy, but a lot of times I can't tell if I've distributed it everywhere. If my hair is totally clean, I just can't really feel it lathering. And this is a new brand that recently came out. I think Heidi Klum is in the commercials and Juliana Rancic. The difference with this one I find, the reason I really like it, is it just lathers up so easily so you can really tell your hair is just getting very clean and it doesn't leave a residue on my hair which is huge because Again, I have very fine hair, so it does build up lots of um, like products leave build up on my hair, but this one doesn't seem to do that, so I really like it. I still use it along with my WEN cleansing conditioner. I just use this at the root, obviously at my roots, and then use my uh, cleansing conditioner on the rest of my hair. So, that's that one. Another product that I just really, I mean, I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it a lot. This is my Revlon just bitten kissable balm stain in charm and it's a really nice pale coral color so the swatch of it looks like and I've had this for a little while now I've been wearing this one all the time and I just feel like it's just a really great summer color it's a really pretty uh, pale coral color and the other thing that's really nice about it is that it does it is kind of tingly like it has a peppermint scent I guess and it does feel very refreshing on your lips and um, I don't know I just really like the fact that it's such a unique color for a lip stain a lot of times you'll find them in hot pink fuchsia red but I have not seen very many of them in this color so I thought this was really just really unique and I've been wearing it a lot so I've been getting a lot of use out of it next product is my wet n wild color icon blusher in heather silk this one always takes me forever to get open for some reason there we go and this is a really great color. It's just a nice basic plummy pink color. And it is a little bit darker, so I think this one looks really nice. It looks really nice with a tan or if you have a darker uh, darker skin tone as well. And I just find that it goes with everything. Like, I could pair this with this coral lip stain, which probably sounds crazy, but I've actually done it and it works because, I don't know, this is just a really nice, it's kind of like a chameleon blush. It just looks really great with everything and it lasts a really long time so this is a really nice little product um, you should check this one out if you haven't yet so love that one again it's the wet n wild color icon blusher in heather silk and next one is two products from the Neutrogena shine control line that I talked about in one of my recent videos the latest foundation routine that I posted and the first one is the Neutrogena shine control primer and this one has rice protein complex in it so it's kind of odd. I talked about this in that video too, but when you first apply it, it feels almost like has little beads of something in it. I guess it's the rice protein. It feels kind of grainy on your skin, and at first when I tried it, I hated it. I thought, how could I ever recommend this to people? This is crazy because it feels like like gritty almost. It's not that bad, but um, it was definitely strange. I wasn't used to it. But I just noticed how well it worked. It really does make your skin look very, very smooth. It keeps your skin nice and... Um, it keeps your skin shine free all day, which is great. And also, as you know, as I applied it more, I realized that it's really the first like 20 seconds you're applying it, you're feeling that weird, grainy feeling. And after a while, it really they just kind of disappear, and it blends into your skin really well after about 30 seconds or so. So I kind of got over that. 
I just think it's a really great primer, especially if you have oily skin. I would definitely recommend this one. The only thing I would say, um, it says on the back that you can wear it with or without makeup. I have fair skin and even I would not wear this without makeup on top, without foundation over top, just because it does have a little bit of a, a white cast that does fade a little bit as it sets, but still, um, it's still kind of noticeable, but when you apply foundation it disappears completely. So um, I would say probably wouldn't recommend wearing it alone for any skin tones, but with foundation it's amazing. And also the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder has the same rice protein complex. And again, I would just spot treat areas with this unless, unless you're comfortable dusting it all over, but I didn't really like the way it looks that way because it is a little bit, a little bit lighter. But again, it just really sops up oil. That sounds so gross. It really just tones down shine very, very well. It almost makes um, any shine in your face just disappear immediately. And the next product I wanted to show you guys, I could not... I could not not include it in this video because I have been using this like crazy. It's my NYX Eyeshadow Trio in Honeycomb. It just looks like that. And I think, I mean, I've been reaching for this pretty much every single day. And I think it's because the assortment of eyeshadows in here are just really great for the summertime, especially this pretty gold color right here. And I like all of the other colors in it too, honestly. I mean, you can do a variety of different really wearable bronzy looks with this and I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of this little guy uh, and then some I've been using it constantly so as far as fashion goes I have I mean it's not really fashion I mean I guess it's fashion I don't know these shoes I'm in love with these shoes they are Libby Libby Edelman <laughs> kind of rubbed off because I've been wearing them constantly. Got these at Marshalls and I can't even tell you guys. I've been wearing these to outdoor shows, like concerts and stuff, just day-to-day -day running errands to the beach. I mean, they just work in pretty much every summer scenario you can think of. And I love the color. I love anything that is like camel colored, like this tan brown color. It really looks good with bright colored nail polishes. Um, yeah, so again, I got these at Marshalls, and I have been, they were such a great purchase, because I have been living in these things, and I don't even think, I don't know if they'll make it through till next summer, because I've been wearing them that much, but that's okay. The last thing I have to show you guys is a book. It's amazing, right? I don't think I've ever shown a book on my channel. Well, I think I showed a cookbook, like, last summer. Yeah. But anyway, I'm trying to get back into reading and being cultured and stuff, so... You guys are going to laugh because it's kind of a self-help book, a little bit. It's called Getting Things Done by David Allen, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity. Productivity. And I actually, I've been a listener of Howard Stern's. I've been listening to Howard Stern's since I was probably like 15 or 16 years old, so about 10 years. I don't know. I just love that kind of like crude humor, believe it or not. So, um... He actually talked about this book on his radio show, and I was kind of feeling really stressed at the time, like I had so many things on my plate, and I just felt like I had no time in which to get them all done. So I got this book, and I still have a few, I think I have like 40 pages left <clears throat> to go, but I pretty much got through the bulk of it, through the important stuff, and I'm definitely going to finish it. And it's just really helped me. I feel like I've gotten, I feel like I've gotten really organized. It just tells you how to organize your life and your all of your to-do things and all of your tasks in life that you feel like are stressing you out and how to organize them in a way that makes you feel good about what you're doing at any given moment. This has just really, really helped me. I know that it's hard to get excited about a book like this that is kind of like a self-help book, but I'm a hu I am love organizing. I'm obsessed with organizing anything from, you know, makeup to clothes and closets and, um, and organizing my life. So I was actually excited to read it. I really liked it a lot. Probably not for everybody, but if you're, you know, if you feel like you really need to get productive and get things done, <laughs> this might be a good book for you. So... I'm going to do a really quick outfit of the day and show you what I'm wearing. I just had to clean off my vanity really quickly because it was definitely not, it's a little too messy for YouTube. So this is my outfit of the day and this graphic tee is from Target and my utility jacket is from Forever 21. I also have on this mint green bandage skirt. I actually got this like three or four years ago from Express but I've been getting so much use out of it again because this color is really popular again this season so... I also have on, these are Franco Sarto Gladiator sandals, or heels, yeah, from DSW. 
And I also have on my Michael Kors, Michael Kors watch, um, no necklace, my cell and dot ring, and my ring from Toby.com. And I also have on this, um, these like pyramid stud earrings, and also my ear cuff, you guys probably noticed and were wondering what the heck that thing was. Um, this is actually an ear cuff that I got from Etsy, off of Etsy, and I know they had the same exact one on Toby.com and also on NastyGal.com. I think Toby and Nasty Gal have a lot of the same jewelry, so yeah, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but <laughs> I don't know, I really like it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my outfit of the day. So thank you guys so much for watching, and, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.